one more story. I'll shut the window. Still hear the creaking door. One more story. Dreams of the White Bears 3. And so it seemed to her that he had always been a part of the landscape of her life, this great white bear. She bought him rose hips to sweeten his days, tried to explain how once they had been flowers, but now were seeds. He'd never seen a rose. He told her stories, coloured with every shade of white, and spoke of a sky that danced with lights. She felt that he understood how the world began, how it might end. And even before they met, he walked in her dreams. When he walked through her dreams, moths rose from the earth where his paws touched the ground as if born from his footfall. They followed him, a cloud of moths of all colours. And the music of moths' wings followed him. And the dancing lights of the northern sky hung in his breath. His eyes a world of wild, on his coat the colours of snow, in his voice the wisdom of untamed things. And it seemed to him that she'd always been a part of the landscape of his dreams, though for many years he could not understand her shape until the day they met. So he told her the stories of colours and spoke with the gentle wings of moths and walked through the world with her by his side. He loved this colour of rose hips like blood, but sweeter. She loved the light of wild in his eyes, the scent of the frost in his fur, and the movement of wings. <laughs> <laughs>